So we'll allow some audience participation because we're all kids at heart. How's everybody today? Okay, you know what? I was looking at a really interesting book, and it was called Ripley's Believe It or Not. How many of you have ever heard of Ripley's Believe It or Not? Well, you know what? There was a man named Robert Ripley, and he liked to find strange and like almost unbelievable facts. But they were true, things that like you wouldn't believe. And he, he had he put it in a book on the newspapers first, like a comic, and then it became so popular it was a book, and then it was on TV and the radio, and it's still going on today. And some and there's even museums. Have you ever heard of these museums? There's really different strange things in them. So some of the things that were in his book were, some of these aren't real strange, but all the sweaters worn by Mr. Rogers during his when he was on TV were hand-knitted by his mom, Nancy. I like this one. During the 1900s, some women wore wooden bathing suits <laughs> because they were designed to calm the people who couldn't swim. I think they'd be designed to drown you, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, Play-Doh was originated as wallpaper cleaner. That makes me feel a lot better. I wonder how much my son ate when he was young. <laughs> and Lincoln, a goat, and this is true, this is unbelievable, Lincoln, a goat, was sworn in as mayor of the town of Fairhaven, Vermont, this past March, March 12, 2019, and he signed the oath of office with his footprint. Now, knowing some of the people I do in office, I don't think Lincoln could do that bad of a job. <laughs> Just kidding. So, what if I told you I could make this paper clip float on water? Would you believe me? <coughs> Well, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. I hope it works. Everybody, cross your fingers and say a little prayer. Hold on, I'm gonna go get my other paper. I working now. No, that's not going to work. It does work. I'll show you later. I can make a paper clip clip. But you know what? There were a lot of people in Jesus' time who didn't believe things, okay? So the Sunday, that's what happened on the evening of the first Sunday after Jesus was crucified. Now, that would be Easter night. Now, remember, the disciples went to the tomb, right? And was Jesus there? Was he there? Was he in the tomb or was the tomb empty? After, he, after they put him on the cross and they took him down and he was dead, they put him in the tomb. And on Easter Sunday, what happened? He was gone, right? They went to the tomb, he was gone. Well, the disciples didn't know where he was. So you know what they were doing? About a week later, they were hiding. I'm sorry, Easter night, they were hiding in a room with the door locked. Why do you think the disciples were hiding? They should have been out having a like a celebration because Jesus wasn't dead anymore. But why were they hiding? Well, they were, you know what else? They were afraid that the people who killed Jesus were going to come and find them and kill them because they followed Jesus. And they were afraid that they were going to die. So they were in a room with the door locked. And guess who showed up in the middle of the room? Jesus. Jesus. He didn't knock on the door. They didn't let him in. He just showed up in the middle of the room. And he showed them his hands where the nail, a hole, there were holes in his hands from the nails, and a hole in the side where they stabbed him with a spear, and he showed the disciples, okay? And the disciples knew that it was Jesus. Well, there was one disciple that wasn't there, and his name was Thomas, okay? And when the disciples told Thomas they were so excited, they said, we saw Jesus, he was with us. You know what Thomas said? I'm not going to believe it till I see it with my own eyes. I'm going to have to put my fingers in those holes in his hands, and touch his side. I'm not going to believe it. So about a week later, they were in the same room, door locked. Guess who showed up again? Jesus showed up again, and Thomas was there. And Jesus said to Thomas, put your hand, put your fingers here, okay, stop doubting and believe. And Thomas fell down on his knees and said, my Lord, my God, because he knew that that was really Jesus. Now, you and I have never seen Jesus in person, right? But do we believe in him? Do you believe? 
Are you, are you going to be a doubter that you have to see with your own eyes or are we going to believe? How about the rest of us? We're going to believe, right? Even though we've never seen with our own eyes. We're not going to be like some people that, like Thomas and said, you show me or I don't believe it. Okay? So, let's say a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, there are many times we hear something and don't believe it because we don't see it with our own eyes. But we know through faith that Jesus did, died for our sins and arose <coughs> and he lives today. Help us to always believe and to tell others about our risen Savior. And Jesus had said, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believed. Okay. And I will come downstairs and show you this. It does work. <laughs> you do it right. 